Hey guys, so just a heads up that this video was recorded sometime last year, so that's why you'll see that it's a different setup. Uh, I look different, I have a different hairstyle. Uh, the reason I didn't get time to release this video uh, last year was because, you know, just life got busy, uh, studies got in the way as well, and I just didn't have time to upload. And so now that I've got the time, I have time to edit, I figured that since I've already made this video, um, since I already filmed it, that I figured that some people can still benefit from uh, this video. So that's why I decided to release it now. At the bottom you've got a really really small Dell logo so oh man hey guys James here back with another video and today I have an unboxing of this monitor it is the U2417 H so it's an ultra sharp monitor hence why there's a U in front of the model number and that's pretty much uh, meaning that this is going to be really good for color accuracy and just display quality is going to be really great it's the top of the line uh, series for Dell but let's cut this open first okay so pretty standard opening so uh, you can see here U2417H um, it's a color calibration factory report. So all the ultra sharps come with this uh, color calibration report just to show that this uh, has been reported to perform well. You get your standard uh, kind of instruction guide. Power cable, doesn't come in a packet, just straight out like that. You also get a, a dis full size display port to a, a mini display port as well, cable. I'm guessing this is going to be no more than a meter. You also get the uh, USB 3.0 cable. Standard there. And finally, uh, some drivers and documentation. Monitor stand. As well as the monitor base. This is pretty standard. Um, it seems like all of them uh, pretty much at the same. Like if you seen the recent unboxing that I did of the P2417H, you know it's, it looks exactly the same. So pretty much just screw it on. The base is exactly the same again, so the four with the two. Flip that down, that's your stand. And then once we get under here, we get the monitor itself being very careful with this and then just quickly mounting that on there there we go all right so this is the monitor in all its glory um, this is what it looks like at the back um, you can see it's got that nice kind of gray touch to it there's a Kensington lock over here so you press this button here and it unlocks it's a lot smoother than what you find in the P series. This clips really nicely, the other ones don't. The other ones just kind of like cracking, but this one actually clips. You can hear that, it's really nice. I'll show you what's on the bottom in terms of the connectivity. So full tour, so you get a full IEC power port. You also have a HDMI in, display port full size in. You have a mini display in, and this is a full size display port out. So this is actually covered by an orange uh, cover port, just so that you don't get confused uh, when you plug it in and you don't plug it into the wrong one. 3.5 or eighth inch out. You also get the uh, USB 3 in, as well as two USB 3 out on this side, and you get two USB 3 out on the sides as well, which is really, really awesome. And this one looks like it supports charging as well when the monitor is not uh, functioning. So that's really, really cool that they've included that in. So that's the left side. At the bottom, you have your four buttons. So this is your power button, obviously. These are hard buttons, which is fantastic. I hate the soft touch buttons. And they've got four buttons, and this is on the underside of the monitor. Uh, so again, really easy to mount the monitor. So just look for uh, these two holes here and match it up with that. And what you do is you just uh, match it up and click it in. Very easy and that's very sturdy. So it has a pretty high energy star rating. It's got a five star, which is very, very good. Now, I want you to see this. Um, I don't know how's the best way to show, but if you can see it from here, there's hardly any indent. So pretty much that screen is right up against that border. So this is a really ultra thin um, border monitor 
and it's gonna look awesome. At the bottom, you've got a really, really small Dell logo, so. Oh, man. All right, so I just wanna quickly just apologize for that really bad audio just before. I forgot to turn on my wireless pack, so. Um, I really apologize for that. I can't really redo the unboxing because I've already taken everything off, but my apologies. So let's continue with good audio quality from now on. Uh, I was saying that, yeah, you got this really small Dell logo, really, really small bezel at the bottom, but everything else is pretty much uh, very thin. So with this monitor, it's full motion down, full up, rotation this way, as well as rotation this way. So that's really, really cool. You've got USBs on the top, so um, if you want to make use of those, make sure to turn it this way. Because if you turn it this way, you won't be able to access those ports. You can access the ports behind, you know, if this was your primary monitor, you're only having one monitor, then that's fine. So other features, it does panning. Okay, and the tilting, of course. I'll show you how much degrees this tilts. So it does have some down tilt, it has some up tilt, okay? At the back, it Again, so you've got this Dell logo, so let's take that off. And the Kensington lock, that's pretty much it. So let's, I usually don't do this, but let's turn this on, because I want to see what, what this looks like in action. I'll show you how thin those borders are. So I've just loaded up a 4K video on YouTube. This is by loungev.com. I'll leave a link in the description to this video if you guys want to uh, watch this. But essentially this shows how high quality this display is, the richness of the colors, the really thin, um, bezel, you know, even even the bottom isn't even that thick, you know, and it just really shows uh, how wonderful this monitor is. Just showing that it's uh, IPS. You know, colors don't really shift drastically upon movement. So yeah, remember this is a 1080p monitor, not a 4K. I'm just showing a 4K video just because it's high quality. Um, it's from Dell, it's the U2417H Ultra Sharp Monitor um, for high color accuracy and high quality display. So if you're a video editor, if you're a photo editor, then this is a great monitor to use. I'm still gonna uh, calibrate this using my X-Ray iDisplay Pro. So I'm actually running this test uh, through my MacBook um, using a mini display port to the display port cable that came with it. Um, and it's really, really high quality, I think it's great. Um, full IPS display, it's matte, it's got a pretty good strong glare re rejection, that's a glare from my, one of my studio lights here. So that's pretty much it, if you wanted to do, you know, a full tilt, you could do that as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, you can go all the way down and that looks, and that looks pretty nice as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, really just quick overview. Uh, it's not really meant to be a review because I know it's gonna be a good monitor anyway. So you can uh, look up the specs online if you wanna uh, go ahead and buy this, but I think it's a great monitor. It's a good all around 1080p, 24 inch monitor. If you're in the lookout for an ultra sharp, then I think this is the one to go for. So again, um, if you are a video editor or a photo editor, or if you do a lot of uh, graphic design and you need high color accuracy and a high quality display, this is the monitor to get. It's not too cheap, but so it's by no means a budget monitor, but it's also quite affordable. So, um, you know, it's kind of like in between. And I think for a 24 inch 1080p, high color accuracy monitor, I think it's great. It's got the USB 3 features, it's got DisplayPort pass-through if you need that to daisy chain, maybe if you wanna buy another one, then this is definitely the monitor to get. So again, I'll leave links in the description below so you guys can get this. So that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments about this particular monitor. Let me know what you guys think of this. Is this a great monitor? Is this a not good monitor? Let me know. Um, I like it, even though I haven't used it, but I know it's gonna be a fantastic monitor. But leave your comments down below um, and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys in the next one.